Hi guys, it's Chris from OutSchool again. Uh, we're actually going to do an unboxing on our chalk. We've done one before, but uh, I really wasn't feeling good that day, so we'll see if we can not uh, do a little more explaining today. Uh, first thing we've got is this is the packaging for our chalk. It is uh, what we call a chalk vault. Um, they're actually repurposed coin vaults. So not only are they crushed proof, they're also airtight. So that means regardless of the environment you're in, the chalk's gonna stay nice and dry. Every cube of it we, uh, we sell is actually tested for moisture, nothing leaves that's got more moisture in it than about 5%, which 5% is about 25% humidity. Um, and that's, you know, chalk is pretty good from anywhere from 0% up to about 14%. So until you get up to about 80% humidity in the air, you really don't have to worry about your chalk uh, picking up too much much moisture and, and going bad on you. But anyway, this is our original white. Uh, it's non-staining. Uh, everything that was in it that could have left a stain on something was removed. This was so that your cue stayed clean, your ferrule stayed clean, your hands stayed clean. Um, the one thing it does do is, since it's white, it does not camouflage on the blue cloth. So it will show up and you will know when your table is dirty and needs cleaning. Um, that actually was why we came out with the Mako Blue. The Mako Blue is probably the lightest shade of blue on the market. But the tournaments don't like cleaning their tables because they're trying to push matches through. So they wanted a blue so that it would camouflage when it came off and it wouldn't show up as well as the white. But anyway, each one of these boxes um, actually comes with two cubes of chalk, and a pocket magnet. Now, you can probably guess why we call this a pocket magnet. Um, the pocket magnet allows you to do a lot of different things as far as uh, keeping up with the chalk. Every cube we make has a metal bottom on it. So if you've got an existing magnetic holder, it'll go right on it. If you don't, you can do, like I said, several things. Number one is you take the magnet, you drop it in your pocket, and after you drop it in your pocket, well, there's your chalk. Now, the only problem with doing it this way is that if you lean into the table, you can crush the chalk between your side and the table and possibly break the metal out of it. So that's one thing I need to caution you about is if you're gonna use the pocket magnet, be aware of your surroundings. Um, a couple other options though using the pocket magnet. If I want to use a different type of clip, it's not a big deal. I don't even have to have a magnetic clip. I simply, instead of putting the magnet in my pocket, I just put it on the bottom of the chalk. These are 20 pound magnets. They hold pretty good. Um, once I've done that, I can do things like, this is a metal money clip. Here's my, here's my clip for my chalk. Don't have to worry about losing it. Magnet holds it tighter to the bottom than it does with the clip. So it's not a big deal for me to keep it there, pull it off, use it on my cube. We actually sell these as a kit. Um, this is a fold over and it's the same thing. Once I've attached the magnet to the bottom of the chalk, it's simple enough for me to take and polarity. These have little magnets in them, so they have to match. So once I've done that, that's not gonna go anywhere. Um, the Great White is a cosmetic grade American made chalk. We make this in Knoxville. Um, we don't have somebody make it for us, we don't import, import it. Every mineral and every chemical that goes in it is the highest grade that we can purchase. Uh, the abrasives in here, the abrasive content and great white is probably higher than anything except maybe Kamui on the market. Um, why that matters is that abrasives are what makes chalk work. Um, more abrasives mean it's going to be means that it's going to be more consistent because every time you chalk your cue, you're going to get adequate abrasives on your tip. Um, with some of the cheaper ones, especially the three ones. Um, doesn't happen very often, but you may chalk the cue, and all you did was kind of blue. Because at 25% abrasive content, it's more filler 
than it is, you know, the stuff that makes chalk work. Um, like I said, these are graded abrasives. They're uh, and graded means they're all the same size, and that means you're going to get the same performance every time you apply it. We've got guys that go racks without using chalk. I'm not going to advise you do that. Um, I'm a chalk every time kind of guy, and that was one of the reasons that we took all the sticking agents out of this, so that you can use it every shot. You know, you don't have to do the due diligence because it will actually perform. But, you know, touch it up every time and go on about it. Um, one of the things we did because of the customer request is there's no starter hole in this anymore. Because most of the better players actually use chalk like they're painting, like they're brushing things on. So that's one of the changes we made. Um, we also offer uh, pocket chalker options. I didn't bring a pocket chalker with me, but uh, you can see them in the store. And um, we're starting to offer this wholesale starting July 1st. So I think that's just